Student loan payments will be starting up again in a few months. It's part of the debt ceiling deal reached earlier this month. The Education Department says interest will start on September 1st and payments will be due starting in October. So joining us this afternoon is our financial expert, Paul Hood with Hood CPAs. Paul, good to see you again. Good to see you, Coop. This is a, uh, a topic that's been in the news for a long time now. Yeah. Um, it's been over three years since payments paused at the start of the pandemic. People are going to have to start change up their spending a little bit now. Uh, they're going to have to make payments again. Is there any chance it can be extended again? Because, you know, in the past, Biden has just pushed it off, pushed it off, pushed it off. Is there a limit now? Well, you know, there's always the opportunity. But uh, part of the, the, the agreement in this last bill that got passed is that it won't. Because originally, Biden said it was going to be six months after June or six months after the Supreme Court heard the case mm -hmm. which so there, there's still a chance that some of it will be wiped out because the Supreme Court says by the end of this month or the end of July they'll give a ruling and you know if you meet certain conditions you can have up to twenty thousand uh, dollars of your student loans wiped out but you still got to start making payments right and so because of that let's talk about that if you do have student loan payments, you have to start paying it again. Um, you know, a lot of people are paying towards the interest. How can you make sure your payments are bringing down the principal? Well, I mean, it, the simplest form is you got to know what your interest is, and then you pay a little bit above that. So really, if you have a certain payment, anything you pay above that is going to go to principal because the payments are going to be calculated as part interest, part part principal. So the simplest way is just pay a little bit extra. Right. Um, and if you can't make the payment, I know there are people out there that are struggling financially. Are there some other options? Um, I know one of them I've heard of is the income-based repayment. What is that? Yeah. So the challenge, Coop, is, is you may have been making your, your payments to Company A, and now Company A is no longer around or your loan has been sold to somebody else. So the first step is they think that it's going to be a little bit of confusion on who do you make your payments to. And then once you determine who your servicer is, which it could be the same uh, bank or financial institution, then you just need to contact them because some of these loans are income-based. So if your income is significantly lower, they'll lower your payments on what, what you're expected to make. There's actually some planning that comes into that. We get involved with some of our clients. You know, the good thing is, is you make less payments. The bad thing is it stretches it out for a longer period of time. Uh, they've given us a gift to be able to plan ahead. So your first payment's not going to be due until sometime in October. So we have a few months here to start putting some money aside, start addressing or, or adjusting your, your lifestyle to be able to make those payments. And that's probably the key is just create a budget now if you don't have one because you haven't been having to pay it for three years. So make the budget. How important is that? Well, you know, um, success in life is really determined more about being intentional. Most people... Uh, do not have an income problem, they have an outgo problem. And so you, and, and the reality is, is a lot of people don't even know where their money's going. Um, so you sit down, take 12 months worth of bank statements, 12 months of credit card statements, budget out what you, where your money's going, see where you can make some cuts, and most people should be able to do it. The people that, that, that were, are in trouble is the ones that refuse to be, actually be intentional. So it's not a big issue, be intentional, and, and look forward and plan ahead. All right, good advice for anybody. Paul, thanks for thanks, being Kim. here. We appreciate it.